I think I've been cheated by a lot of fake information in the media. I thought this gets me 90, but then I got 45. I thought that gets me 45, but actually got me 90. I understand so many news has been circulated in the media, not understanding which one to follow, which one is the truth and which one is not. Well, if you're wondering with all these questions, and trust me, today's video is that video wherein I'll be talking about 10 truths, the facts that you need to know about PD so that you understand the reality and work towards it to get that 90 out of 90. If you want to understand more about this, make sure you watch the video till the end. Hey everybody, Nakulia from Skills PT Academic. Really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with yet another super awesome, power packed video on the untold truths of PT exam. The 10 facts that you need to know immediately so that you will be put into right direction and get that 90 overall. So before we get into the video, if you're not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and anytime you need online assistance, you can check the information in the description of this video. We have provided a WhatsApp link. You can click on the link and send us a message. I'll be there. We will be there to help you guide in the right direction. All right, without further delay, let's straight away get right into the video. Let me just share my screen. The untold truths, the truths that nobody wants to tell for their own benefits, the 10 facts that you need to know. Let's start with the truth number one. Many argue, hey, English is not being tested. Trust me on this, I'm telling you the truth. I can write on a bond paper and sign and give it to you with my seal and signature. It is a perfect English test. For some modules, you can trick, even if you don't have English. But this is not for all the modules. Remember this, please remember this, please remember this. For some modules, you can trick. But what people capitalize on is the thing for some modules, they make it all modules. Isn't it? It's a perfect English test. Only a few modules like speaking you may, you can trick. But still speaking is the one that people actually get low scores. Essay you can trick. Summarize written text you can trick. Written lecture you can trick. Describe image you can trick. Summarize spoken text you can trick. But all these are very low priority modules. These people don't understand in the very beginning. And some don't even understand after six months of practice into PT. All this, don't give marks. Remember what decides your fate, what decides your scores, which modules. Read aloud. Well, here you cannot fail, I mean like um, fool the software. You need to have a good reading skill, repeat sentence, listening skill. There are some strategies. Reading, fill in the blanks. Pure English, pure grammar, collocation, vocabulary and fast reading skills. Reading, writing, fill in the blanks. To the next level of grammar, required. Listening, fill in the blanks. Spelling, listening skills, write from dictation. Agility, listening skills, vocabulary, spelling, grammar. So it's reading, fill in the blank, reading, writing, fill in the blank, listening, fill in the blank, write from dictation. These four decide your scores. These four are a priority. And in these four, how can one fool the software? How can one trick the software? How can one say it is not an English test at all? Remember this. It is a perfectly made, precisely made English test with few flaws because it's a software and it is evolving day by day. So day will come where people will not be able to get marks for some modules also using some tricks. At the end of the day, only few modules have ways to trick even if you don't know English, even if you don't have a good command on the language. The rest of it is 100% pure English. This is the truth. Please understand this and work towards your English to get that 79. Otherwise, not possible. I'm telling you it's not possible. That's the first truth. Um, like I told you, these modules were not given any priority. The second truth, speaking is all about the game of confidence. Here, it may not be speaking skills. That's exactly I told in the beginning. It's only the speaking that has few ways you can still get the marks. But from my survey, from my research, 90% of the people have problems in speaking because speaking is all a game of confidence. Right now, I'm speaking if you ask Mr. Shakespeare. He's not here today with all of us, I know that. But by chance, if Shakespeare comes, he will identify probably hundreds of mistakes in every line I speak. But to a naked eye, it seems to, oh, this guy, is, you know, speaks so good because I'm speaking with confidence. In the real world as well, speaking is all about you're confident or not. Same way Pearson is testing. I gave my first exam. I got 53 speaking. Second exam, again, 50, 52. There, I put a lot of effort. I was speaking consciously, everything precise, then I was getting low scores. Then the fourth attempt, I got 90. In that 90 out of 90, I did not put any effort. I was just trying to be natural the way I'm talking to you right now. I'm talking to you right now. See, my videos are usually not edited. We'll not trim it. I start 
I end it. My editor will cut in the beginning, will cut in the end. Rest all is like precise. That's how I just spoke in the exam. Market research is a vital part of the planning of any business. This is how I did read aloud. I got 90. The point is, it's all the game of confidence. If you're confident, if this is strong, you do it. If you fumble, one fumble will take away two marks. Remember this. Market re research is a vital part of now two, three marks minimum gone. Gone case, I'm telling you, this is the truth. So it's all a game of confidence sometimes. Describe image. You don't have to give any keywords. Still, you'll get the marks if you don't fumble. But the moment they see the image, they start fumbling. Repeat sentence. You don't have to speak all correctly, all the content. You can speak some 50, 60 percent, but confidently without fumbling. This people don't do. So it's all a game of confidence. If you're confident, if you understand how the software works, it's very easy to score in PT speaking. This is the truth, 100% truth. Yes, only PT speaking, you can still get away with a very good score, even if you don't put any efforts. Only speaking, remember only speaking. So work smart here, finish all my YouTube videos, you should be able to do it. If you're still not getting the score because of the voice problem, huskiness or the pitch issues, join our course, man, we will fix it. The third truth, PTA describe image. Remember, it's not the content, it's the fluency. Is it the real truth? 100% real truth. We've tried this without giving any content, still we got a very good score because the software, on the other hand, will not be able to see the image. It doesn't have eyes like we do. We see the image and we think, oh, this is the important keyword. Oh, this is the maximum value. I have to give this. Whether you give or not, software Baba will say, I don't care. All I want is, the rhythm, the fluency. Hope you are getting it. So, PT describe image. It's all uh, the fluency. It is not the content. Is this 100% truth? It is 100% truth. Yes. Any template you use, it is not going to make a difference. So, don't change your templates. Don't think, oh, I use this template, so I got less marks. I'm going to change the template. I'm going to get more good scores. You don't get good scores. You get the same scores. The reality, the truth. Okay, the fourth truth. Let's quickly finish it off. PT versus IELTS. Both are difficult exams. I've seen people switching to PTE thinking, ah, PTE is very easy. You can use templates and get marks, it seems. IELTS, it's not possible, it seems. In both, it is not possible. In PTE, it looks like it is easy. It is 100% difficult. But the real truth here is, both are difficult exams. If you still want me to read which one is more difficult, then I would say IELTS is more difficult. None of them are easy. Remember this, none of them are easy. Both are difficult. You cannot get away with a good score without working hard in it. IELTS is probably out of 100, out of 10, let's say, 10 out of 10 difficulty level. PT, 7 or 8 out of difficulty level because in speaking and all few of the things, you can still get away with a very good score in PT without putting much effort, without even having or possessing a good speaking skill. But in IELTS, you need to have a solid hold on the language. But again, remember, I'm not telling you PT is easy. All I'm telling is both are difficult. PT could be less difficult compared to IELTS the real truth. Getting it? So don't switch to PT from IELTS thinking if I switch to PT easily by sitting on a chair like this, have my coffee and get 90. No way. You have to sweat. Remember this. All right. Truth number five. PT repeat sentence. I gave perfect content. I have to get 90. No, 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 no. You try to give perfect content. There are high possibilities. You get low scores. This is the real truth. Because if the audio is 12 words, you try to speak all 10 words, 12 words correctly. Try doing that. In doing so, 90% of the people, not all, not everybody, but 90% of the people tend to fumble. Because it's quite difficult, man. So as a result, the marks will go down. They speak well. They speak all the words correctly with lot of pauses, lot of fumbles. But they some more finish. Think and then they think that, okay, I've spoken all the words correctly. I should be getting good scores think that I've spoken all the words correctly, I should get a good score, but they see a very low score in the exam. Know that the truth is, I speak every word correctly in the repeat sentence, it may not guarantee a good score. What guarantees your good score is your fluency. And some 50-60% content, if it is matching, that's more than enough. That's the truth number five, we'll go to truth number six. There are 20 modules in PT Academic and one less, 19 modules in PT Core. Well, every module you don't have to worry, man like we already told you. What gives you marks is only six modules. Read aloud, repeat sentence. Reading FIB, fill in the blanks. Reading, writing, fill in the blanks. Listening, fill in the blanks, write from dictation. These six, if you're top notch, you have to get 90. Describe image, read a lecture, summarize spoken text, essay, essay. Well, 
they also matter, but they don't matter the most. All those you write in your own way, use some templates and finish it off. All those probably contribute some 12 to 15 to 20 percent of your total marks, but these six modules contribute the remaining 70 to 75 percent of your total score. So you should know really how the algorithm is made, developed, how software works at the back end, which module should I focus, which module I should not focus. What people usually focus on, they focus on the easy things. Changing template is very easy, using template is very easy, that's how our mind works, isn't it? They don't want to take that extra effort. As a result, they end up getting low scores. Seventh truth, stop checking your scores in third party application. There could be a lot. No wonder I may also come up um, in some time. Uh, but the point is nobody has the Pearson software. <laughs> Remember this. Only a Pearson software can give you a score that is a true reflection of what you get in the exam. Rest all have taken the help of some third party, other third party applications. They pay them those people give the fluency content some score so you cannot rely on them this is the real truth because these days this is becoming more and more um, you know like problem for us people randomly take the number in the youtube description and text us an audio they send us and text us i'm getting this score in pipipip.com can you tell me why i followed everything don't spread lies all those scoldings we get for the good work we've done remember all those websites if i speak there i get 40 out of 90 i have 90 out of 90 man i'm not saying you don't practice there you practice you can buy a package no problem at all but don't see the scores don't think that okay the same score i'm gonna get in the exam 100 percent no so let's talk about the truth number eight the most important crucial truth the universal truth Templates. You just type PTE templates and see the views for those videos because everyone is behind templates. Everyone thinks I follow this template, I get 90. I think templates have been changed. They're not working. That's how it is programmed in your mind. Well, not me. In every video, I've told the real truth. I may have, you know, made the thumbnail saying working template because if I don't, people will not open that. Correct. That's the only way I can reach people. But if you watch my any of my videos, I've told the real truth templates they don't really help you get 90 or 65 this is the real truth don't pay anybody templates the money i will change the templates i get the marks see which modules have templates describe image retail lecture summarize spoken text essay these are low priority modules whether you change the templates or use templates or not it is not going to make a difference when i gave my exam long time back 2018 i didn't know what templates were <laughs> i got 90 so templates are the recent concept probably four or five years, four years back started uh, because that's one of the ways people can market their videos and shine in the YouTube, correct? Uh, the idea of a template is it just helps you to some extent to save the time and be quick, do things a bit faster. Apart from that, they don't serve any purpose and more importantly, you should realize it's reading fill in the blank, reading, writing fill in the blank, listening fill in the blank, write from dictation, read aloud, repeat sentence. These things decide your fate and these six don't have templates. So know the truth. I've given you the truth. I've told the truth. Accept it, acknowledge it, embrace it and work towards the real stuff. So let's talk about the ninth truth. The untold truth, the fact this exam cannot be passed, uh, passed with 79 if you don't have a good hold on the language. Like I told you, those six modules, like I told you, I don't want to repeat it again and again multiple times. Those six modules demand you to have a very good hold on reading skills. I read, I understand. What if I read fast? I have to read it three times to understand. Correct? Vocabulary, that word I don't know. If I knew that word, uh, I will get 90. I will show to Pearson who am I. But I don't know the word what to do. Listening fill in the blanks. That spelling is the problem. Da. Right from dictation. Half of the audio gone case I was not able to catch at all. It's English, man. Isn't it? Reading fill in the blanks. If I give you in Hindi or in your native language, Arabic, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, you will be top notch. Listening fill in the blanks. Or right from dictation, if I play the audio in your native language, you will not even practice, you're precise. You'll get 90 out of 90. Read a lot, I show you in your native language. Repeat sentence, audio, I play in your native language. Just wonder. So easy, right? So wonderful, so beautiful, isn't it? <clears throat> but the real problem is you're so good at your language, but you're not good at English. You become good at English. You get 79. Just with tips and tricks, I will get 79. Whole year gone, next year gone, three years, five years gone. You will not get 79. So don't waste your time. Grab a book a novel, a newspaper, start reading things every day, one hour, two hour, do some five, six spelling tests, download some spelling apps, listen to a podcast every day, 
watch a movie english movie watch a tv series english without subtitles the skills will enhance once skills develop along with you practicing together you get that 90 real truth man just changing template changing coaching center will not do much of the growth it will do more of the damage <laughs> all right the last uh, truth it's an integrated exam and i'll speaking means speaking writing means writing listening means listening reading means reading but here speaking means speaking reading listening read aloud 35 marks to reading repeat sentence 35 marks to listening and speaking both correct it a lecture some 10 marks 6 to 8 to 10 marks to speaking and listening reading in the reading module reading fill in the blanks contributes marks to reading but reading writing fill in the blanks contributes marks to reading and writing both correct listening listening section entire listening section contributes marks to listening and writing and there are modules in listening that contributes marks to reading also so things are different here if you are completely new to pt and don't want to invest much of your time into seeking the real truth debunking myths and you know landing up in a big pet um if you think you're going in the wrong direction then join us we will help you understand the real stuff this exam can be definitely passed well you need to put effort but you need to put the efforts rightly well i've made a small attempt here in this video to spread the truth to help you realize the truth well if you believe that these truths are the real truths then do share it with someone whom it can actually help I think that's all from this video really hope this video made sense if you really like the video like share and subscribe and leave your valuable comments in the comment section this is nakul n a k u l nakul signing off from skills pt academy soon we'll be back till then take care bye bye thanks much for watching keep following us